Hi everyone, it's Granny J. Clay, or Joni. I'm just gonna drop by for a few minutes. I'm going to show you something that I did. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to go out for dinner tonight with my husband, um, with my our son and his family. So this, this is just something I was playing with. Um, yesterday I was talking about textures. So I just took a bunch of pieces of clay and I um, put different textures on these because I wanted something to roll a ball with. And uh, let me just show you some of the ones that I've done. I did these and you can see that they've got texture on them. Um, and I used these yellow little texture cubes, I call them, they're all different sizes, to do that. And then I also did, I made some I'll show you. Let me just show you. I made some of the little tiny cube beads. Um, so they're uh, just to show you. Sorry about my reach. Um, that's the big cube bead that we made with the sugar cube. So you can tell that they're they're just a, a lot smaller, um, and they're of course they're not hollow, but not sure that you need them hollow either if they're smaller. Um, if the bigger one was full of clay, it would be heavy. So that's good that that's hollow. Anyway, I wanted to show you quickly before I got to dinner what this looks like. I made a big, big ball of clay um, and in a lighter color so that you could see it. And I'll just show you what they look like. It's just, I just put two thicknesses of clay together. That's all I did. And I, um, I took my um, different things I have to make textures with, and it, but I made two. So what I do is I put this down. Let me just make a great big cube for you. And then I just press it. Can you see that, I hope? Yeah, you can. And then I'm gonna press it this way. So it not only has texture on the top, but on the bottom as well. Kind of like what I did with my rubber stamps. But you can make your own kind of textures. Anyway, that's that's kind of what I've been doing, kind of playing with today, just to see what I could come up with. Now this is huge, so it didn't texture the whole thing, but when you get a smaller ball or a smaller cube like that, uh, you can texture them very easily. And then all you have to do is poke a hole. And you know, I wanted to show you this. I made a, a needle tool, and I just took one of uh, my sewing needles uh, that was rather thick, and I stuck it in some clay, old clay and, uh, and then I baked it. And I have used this ever since I started claying. I've used it and used it. Matter of fact, I think I've got two of them. Yeah, two of them. So uh, you can use those for, for the holes if you want to poke holes in them. But isn't that cool how that works? I, I really like that idea. And it's, um, let me just roll it a little bit. And it's really easy to do, very easy to do actually. Um, I just want to show you a couple more of the textures. So I have to rub the textures out of this. And I didn't soften this clay up really well. So let me just show you. All right, here's one that just has lines. So I'll put that down here. And then same one. And I'll just come down on it. See? Isn't that cool? And the bottom, of course, is the same way. Now, if you wanted to, you could take your... Uh, texture and well you could turn your ball or cube or whatever you're making and go the other way and then you've got all kinds of little squares isn't that cute so i just thought i would show you that really really quickly before i out, go out for dinner um let me just show you a couple more if i have some time here it'll be so nice to go out to dinner you guys we haven't gone out to dinner um probably in the last year at all We'll drive by a fast food place and get a hamburger or something, but this I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, we will wear our masks for sure. Now, these two are oddballs, aren't they? And I poked them with different things. So let's see what they look like. And I poked them on both sides. I like that. Do you see how much texture you get, you guys? That's so cool. All right, I'll turn it this way. Let's see. I have it on both sides, I think. Let's try this side. Let's see what that looks like. Of course, you wouldn't be working with this big of a piece of clay. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure you could see it. So 
So when you press on the top, you're not losing texture on the bottom because you have a texture sheet on the bottom too. And you don't have to mess with the rubber stamp folding it over or cutting it or anything like that. But So you can make your own. Um, let's see, what else haven't I done yet? I don't know if I tried those. I'll try those. Um, now, let's just try that and press really hard. Oh, I love that. That's kind of a basket weave look. Isn't that cool? And then you get one on the bottom. So wherever you set it, you're going to get texture on the top and bottom. You can make these. I just made these in a few minutes. It was no problem. I'm sure many of you out there have already <laughs> figured this out, but, um, and I'm sure you can make the pieces bigger if you needed to make the, these pieces bigger, but I don't think you really need to. Anyway, isn't that cool? Yeah. I just really like it a lot. So I thought I'd just share that little thing with you. And then I want to show you what it looks like um, when I roll this. Like this is if this was a smaller ball or something. Let me just show you. I'm trying to get all the texture out before I do it, but... Anyway, if you had a smaller ball here, you could roll it and roll it and and you get the idea. That's what I did with the balls that you saw prior here. And anyway, you can just roll it and roll it. This is such a big kind of a clumsy ball to to roll but you get the idea you get some texture on it not as in depth because you're not pressing as hard but you could I suppose you could I suppose you could even hold them like this and ro try to roll it like that if you wanted to uh, but this is such a big thing that I can't do much of anything with it let me show you on a blue I was practicing on this little blue and I didn't know if you could see that very well let's see I'll use this this texture and let's see this texture Okay, here's another one. Maybe I did show you that one. If you can see it, hold it over to the light a little bit. So, make yourself some little texture cubes. It really works well. I can think of using this, these in many different ways, not just for cube beads or, or not just for these little ball beads either. So... Anyway, I just wanted to show you that before I went out for dinner. I hope you guys have a good evening. I got to run. Uh, God bless you all. Bye-bye.